Hi, this will be my first video in more than three months made with various video editors and screen capture programs because my computer screen had suddenly turned all black. Then had that repaired, lost all my software and had to buy and install it all new. Which for me, the dummy with computers, my burnout and homeless situation wasn't easy at all. I'll be turning 60 this year. My hair has turned entirely white and grey. I'm an old geezer with a limp, homeless and would like to retire and get a rest. So, if the computer holds out, in the next few videos, I'll gradually show you the next generation of young producers who carry on the legacy of my ancestors on the enemy within, for I'm neither royalist nor republican. So the first one in row, and you wouldn't believe it, is Swissy here by the YouTube name of Rotex BMW Drift because he likes drifting around corners with his block differential on his supercharged BMWs. But it's about the interview I gave, so here you can see it. It is in German. Well, I guess you can put subtitles. And for all the the ones who are watching my videos who do speak German. So here's the whole title here. Sean Rass spricht über sein Leben, die Schweiz und was sich seit Jahrhunderten nicht geändert hat. So he made the title. And here. Rotex trifft Sean Ross. Gibt es vielleicht verborgene Geheimnisse hinter Maßvoll und ihrem Logo? You see that M symbol. I'm going to explain. You know what it means. It's the uh, it's a controlled opposition. So he used to like you know BMWs and drifting with a, uh, a block differential until this whole thing started with the uh, Pharaoh's poison here. So he started filming demonstrations, and um, but here you can see some of his old videos like taking a corner like in a 90 degrees like spinning around the corner like in a hollywood mode you know and uh a hollywood mode sorry so okay a lot of cars eh? but it's about the interviews in german drifting corners with block differentials might be cool but I see no more, no less, than a getaway car and the whole exercise, hanging out the goodies and blasting away. Oh, what a sweet dream. I accepted Swissy's visit out of tactical reasons, like a Trojan horse gnawing at the ancient pillars of the Swiss utopia in the Alps. Having my own Swiss Trojan horse, or rather horsepower, in this case, inside the Devil's Caves. Of course, the Swissies are the most perfected breed of humans. After Pharaoh's principles and their Templars' criteria concerning their feudal slaves, who are over 2,000 years, the best Swissies have always been bred out, merely selecting the Swiss banker mentality with a counting machine at the place where their hearts should be. Ain't Swissy, ain't that so, eh? But hey, if I, homie Ross, can wake up some young, disillusioned homeboys of Swissyland, then so be it. And let's bring it on, boys. Last month, we did two interviews in German and made in the French mountains of the Alsatian territories. So you all see the 1984 on his BMW a um, block differential. So um, 
Switzerland is the uh, the 1984, the, the utopia of Pharaoh in the Alps. So, all you German speakers, I wish you great fun with the interviews. As it seems to be, the Alpine hillbillies watched the first interview more than the other, apparently due to the fact that I explain the occult logo of the controlled opposition concerning Pharaoh's bug war, who have definitely been sent by the two biggest pharmaceutical companies in the world, who both come out of Pharaoh's base in the Alps, Roche and Novartis. So I explain in the video that this is not a normal M. It's first of all, it's the M for Mason. And these are like the two pillars, Yashin and Boaz. And here it forms a square, as in the square and compass. And the compass is, of course, in the circle, because with a circle, you go with a compass, you can make a circle. And it has two times the Templar V in it here. So it's it's completely Masonic and Pharaonic. So you see my I, my hair turned in grey. I'm you know the old geezer, <laughs> and uh, I hope the new the new talents here they're gonna continue the work. And uh, so he's he even got it here, 1984 here in his uh, channel. Here you can see his channel. So go give him a hand. And um, so here again, you can see is the name of his channel, Rotex BMW Drift. Here's the title, as I pronounce it in German. Rotex trifft Sean Ross. Gibt es vielleicht verborgene Geheimnisse hinter Maßvoll und ihrem Logo? And um, so here you can read it here in German, but the best would be you go and visit his channel. If I don't forget, I'll uh, I'll put the link in the uh, in the uh, description. Yeah, so you German speakers, go team up and uh, wake up the um, the hillbillies in the Alps. I eh? uh, there are like one or two, you know, that uh, who are okay, you know, amongst. Uh, well, you know what I mean. 33% of Roche belonged to Novartis, so they're in fact one and the same company, most certainly into illegal cartel agreements amongst each other. So, due to the enormous amount of money Roche made themselves with their PCR machines and the conflict of interest, Roche could just lay down $20 billion after the very good business of infecting the world with Pharaoh's woo flu. So well documented by Wolf Clan Media and Chris's video. Here you see Wolf Clan Media and Chris. This is the video you should definitely watch you can find it on brighton and i think rumble and also on the wolf clan media site this here is an interview in the comments i even um, I, even me as I'm, I'm, I'm in it and uh so here yeah, there he is and so Go follow Chris. He's also um, 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 one of the new young talents who uh, you should definitely uh, follow. Go watch this video. Eh? So this is the follow-up. What I'm telling you, you know, that 33% uh, of Roche, it belonged to uh, Novartis. 20 billion. Can you imagine? And... Um, after the woo flu they just they just they just laid down 20 billion and bought it back you know so 
Do you need any more proofs, eh? So here's Chris's channel, Wolf Clan Media, on YouTube. Of course, because of the censorship, he couldn't put the uh, the other video you just saw. He couldn't put it on the, in YouTube because they would have taken it off immediately. Here, there's a um, here you can see the whole title: Swiss banksters call police and assault journalist Sean Ross. Oh, Sean Ross! I heard that name before. Who's that? Uh, so go and watch this video and there's a lot of more interesting things so go check out this guy he's um he's going to be big and i'm going to retire so i hope all these young guys they'll they continue the work no. uh, please don't, more, don't um, touch me some more swiss banksters assaulting in the and so go check it out yourself in uh, his channel, uh, Wolf Clan Media. Well, it's... So there we are again. Wolf Clan Media. Swiss banksters call police and assault journalist Sean Ross. Go check him out, support him. And um, I mean, yeah, um, uh, go and uh, subscribe. And. Uh, I'm sure he's going to do a lot of more uh, interesting things. By the way, the Swiss Parliament in Bern, it also looks like this with a tower on it like this. So after the 2008 financial crisis, the Swiss banks were grounded from further Swiss banking frauds through heavy international control. So, a Swissy had to come up with something new. In December 2019, starting Friday the 13th.